Hello, I'm Snedi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to move your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance to another subnet, availability zone, or virtual private cloud. Let's get started. Before we begin, it's important to note that it's not possible to move an existing Amazon EC2 instance directly to another subnet, availability zone, or VPC. Instead, I'll show you how to manually migrate the instance by creating a new Amazon machine image from the source instance by either manually copying it or by using the Systems Manager automation document. There are two methods to migrate the instance. First, use the AWS Systems Manager automation document AWS support copy EC2 instance. Second, copy an instance and then launch a new instance from the copy. Let's begin by using the AWS Systems Manager automation document AWS support copy EC2 instance. You can use the automation runbook to complete the following tasks automatically. First, create a new image using AWS support copy EC2 instance. And second, launch a new instance from the created image. After these procedures complete, follow the instructions and reassign the Elastic IP address section if needed. First, make sure that you are in the same region as the instance that you want to copy. To run the automation, do the following. Log into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Systems Manager Console. Now, navigate to Automation on the left side of the page, select Execute Automation and search for the AWS support hyphen copy EC2 instance runbook in owned by Amazon. When you find the document, choose the document name and then select Execute Automation. For Execute Automation document, choose Simple Execution. For input parameters, enter the instance ID of the EC2 instance that you want to copy. If you use the interactive instance picker, then make sure that you select Show All Instances from the drop-down list. Provide the destination region or the subnet ID where you want to copy the instance to. Next, complete any additional optional fields that are required for your use case and then select Execute. You can monitor the execution progress of the runbook by opening Systems Manager Console and then choosing Automation from the Navigation pane. Choose the running automation and then review the executed steps. To view the automation output, expand Outputs. If there are any failures, you can see them in the Automation Execution output as well. Next, let's see how to manually copy the instance and then launch a new instance from the copy. This includes two steps. First, creating a new image and then launching an instance from the new image. To create an image, open the Amazon EC2 console and then choose instances from the left navigation pane. Now select the instance that you want to move and then choose instance date stop. This makes sure that the data is consistent between the old and new EBS volumes. Choose Actions, Image, and then Create Image. Now enter details for the AMI such as image name and image description. Note, if you select No Reboot on the Create Image page, then the file system integrity of the image cannot be guaranteed. Choose Create Image. Under Create Image Request Received, choose View Pending Image, wait for the status to change from Pending to Available. Or, you can also view pending images by choosing AMIs from the Images section of the Navigation pane. When the AMI is in Available state, it completes the first part of this process. Now, we will go ahead and launch a new instance from the newly created AMI. To do so, select the new AMI and then choose Launch if it's old console and Launch Instance from AMI if it's the new console. Choose the same instance type as the instance that you want to move to and then choose Next Configure Instance Details. Here 
Here is where you can select the new VPC or subnet. In network, choose your VPC and for subnet, choose the subnet where you want to launch the new instance. You can also modify other details like storage, tags, etc. For configure security group, choose the same security group that's applied to the instance that you're moving. Note, if you're moving your instances between VPCs, you must have a valid security group on the destination VPC. For select a key pair, choose your key pair from the drop-down list, select the agreement checkbox, and then choose launch instances. And then choose the instance ID to return to the EC2 console and wait for EC2 to pass both status checks before you try to connect to it. Please note, elastic IP addresses can be used in only one region. If you move an instance to a different region, you cannot use the same elastic IP address. For more information, see the Knowledge Center article associated with this video. So now you know both ways to move an Amazon EC2 instance to another subnet availability zone or VPC. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.